Hey Mago, today we're going to be finishing our Hu Tao. High skills, high level, high stats. I've been farming most of the required stuff for the past several days. A ton of the big Primo Vishap dudes for the rest of her cores. I think I might make a little um, montage of my runs there while I'm uh, voicing over, although there's not really too much to say. He's a big dude, you kill him and you get some stuff for it. We also had to farm a massive amount of those Whopper flowers. I'm still not sure if we have enough to get the skills as high as we want to. I didn't notice till it was too late that I didn't have enough of those juices, whatever they're called. And then of course her skill books as well. This is always like one of the biggest grinds when it comes to raising a new character, getting all those skill books. And I couldn't do much with that until today because today, her skill books are open, so I was doing a ton of those as well. With one small ado, please do remember to subscribe if you enjoy the content. Maybe we can even do it before the end of the month. Who knows, man? Anything is possible. Once we finish raising her, we're going to go into Abyss as well. First of all, her artifacts I did change a little bit. Not too much, though. She still has two-piece Crimson, two-piece Oblige. I was thinking about Lava Walker as well. This is currently her off-piece, but, you know, it could be part of a set. And uh, since she's constantly doing pyro, constantly applying pyro, um, that 35% extra damage bonus, but this is what I'll have for now. Her ult does hit like a truck, so oblige is really nice there. And of course, just 15% more pyro damage bonus. Let's go ahead and start with ascending her. Uh, we gotta head to the crafting station first. Hopefully we got enough of those. We also need a bunch for her skills, so that kind of sucks. So we can go ahead and ascend her. Her crit damage goes up, that's nice. There we go, boom. We will also go ahead and level her. I really, really like Hu Tao. Usually I don't level characters up to 90 super early on, but I really, really like her. So, uh, well, hopefully we can. Anyway, we just raised d to 90, so yeah, <laughs> barely, barely enough there. But uh, there she is. We currently have Guide to Afterlife at level 8. I want to get her basic up to 6. Oh, man. I think that's going to be actually it, unfortunately. It really is the Whopper Flowers. Like, I farmed so many of the books, and it's the Whopper Flowers. 18 gold books, and we can't even use them. Well, all right, so six, eight, seven. I still think it's good enough for the, you know, actual showcase. We're also going to enhance this, I guess, as much as we can. It's so unfortunate, because I really, really wanted Homa, but yeah, I tried. So I think that's pretty much everything. Talents will have to wait for those stupid Whopper flowers, but let's check out her final attributes right now. 32.2k HP, <laughs> tiny attack, but that's just how she is. Uh, we currently have 83.4 crit rate, 163 crit damage. I think that's a pretty good ratio. Zero element mastery, which was a consideration for her, but that's obviously not what we're going for right now. A little bit of energy recharge. I've noticed she gets a decent amount of energy just from basic attacking after her E. Uh, the general pyro damage bonus, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is definitely the most unique abyss perk that we've had. I'm not going to bother reading that, but basically if you get low HP, you can create some kind of explosion and you can have like charges. That's pretty cool. I know for Chamber 9 and 10, you basically just need fire in both parties. We have three raised fires now, which is... We'll go ahead and have her in first half with Bennett. I'm not too sure who else yet. Usually I was taking Chi Chi for Melt, but that was kind of inconsistent because Bennett's ring kind of just turns them all fire and melts them in like automatically, so it's kind of hard. Uh, we'll also, I guess, take Zhongli. For second half, we're going... I'm probably not gonna bother too much with trying to have her low HP before doing her ult. Uh, because I think just in normal gameplay, that's not really going to be worth it to waste a bunch of time trying to have her low HP, like having her get hurt on purpose, for for example. Uh, doing some charge attacks. I love her charge attack. I don't know why I love that so much more than Shanling's, which I don't like very much. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do her ult. And I guess her E here. I saw a 46k. I don't think there were any reactions going on there, so pretty solid, honestly. Just try some basic attacks. Oh, here we go. Here we have some melt opportunities. I'm not going to use her ult anymore since this is the last phase, but we can wrap it up with, with, with some basics. Very strong, very, very, very strong basics for a pull arm user. That's crazy. All right, I want to try this. 125k. <laughs> I think that's the highest I've ever seen one of my characters do, especially without any sort of uh, strange setup that you wouldn't really see in real life. Ninety k. There was like not really any setup there. 
Of course, melts are happening because they, they are ice slimes. So this is basically perfect scenario still. But jeez, that's crazy, dude. Let's try that again. Ah, uh, she doesn't have her ult now. Well, look at these. 18k melts with basic attacks. Basic pull arm attacks. She is insane. I think I also like her charge attack a lot more because it's basically instant. As far as I remember, Shanling has some charge up time with her charge attack. Let's try this. Uh, 78. Well, definitely not bad against that dude. Almost one shot him. Probably gonna go for the same team, honestly. Kind of forgot what's on floor 10. We'll take D Luke and Ganyu in second half. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this might be a problem anyway, though. <laughs> Let's take care of her first. I'm still 32k against him, even though he has all that pyro resistance. As far as floor 11 goes, I'm still gonna try and take her with me, but we also need Vinti. This should be a pretty fun one with all these vaporizes. Oh wait, never mind. It would be fun if there was not my not my ults being drained all the time. Give me my ult back. Ah, it's too late now. Oh my god, it's literally impossible to get her ult. That's so messed up. There we go. Ah, uh, they were too far in the air. I saw 161k though. Oh, the bubbles. Actually, let's go character max HP here. Boom, she has 36k. Oh yeah, I already figured out that just freezing them is enough to kill them. And the nightmare stage once again. I'll never not be sick of this. That was a nice one, though. Oh, this is the last enemy. 89%? I think that's the best I've ever done on the first phase here. Let's hope we don't mess it up here. Ow! Uh, that was actually way too close, honestly. I guess I should have remembered that I need uh, Cryo here. <laughs> well, we have 45 seconds for the uh, other phase. Let's see if we can do it. Actually, rather close, you know? I was thinking we wouldn't even get close, but there's the last dude. So we just need to be a bit faster. Maybe try and kill the Electro ones before they get their shield. Uh, I think, yes, he's dead. At least the first one there. Come on. Go, Tao! Oh no, that's the Electro one. Ah, okay, well, we're still gonna have way more time. Oh, and I need to kill this one. All right, we have like a minute and a half now. Should be doable, honestly. Come on, 40 seconds. Yeah, I think we got it. No, that's not the real one. Ah, okay. <laughs> and then this new floor 12, is it still the same as it was last time? Yeah, probably, because there's no buffs. I got so angry at this, I decided to cut out the footage and I'm probably not going to release it. But yeah, I could only get eight stars here. Chamber three was like impossible. I remember Xiao and Ganyu were really good for these, so I had them in separate teams. Although, uh, currently Hu Tao has Xiao's deathmatch and I guess it'll stay like that for this showcase. So we're gonna just try her instead of Xiao for these. Uh, hopefully she'll do fine as well. Vinti I found to be somewhat, oh wait, but we need a bow user for those ruin guards. So we're probably going to have that team in second. And, and I'm still not sure how to actually get down the Ruin Graders, like disable them. But they don't seem to be disabled for very long anyway. So I don't know. For Ganyu. Ganyu team, we're just going to go pretty much same as usual. Minus d -Luke this time, I think I will have Kaching just for a little bit more burst. Kind of use her more as a support here. Do her E and her burst as she has built Electra right now. And then we'll have Chi Chi for the resonance. And for here, I guess we will take Vinti just in case. We'll try and like get the Ruin Graders down. Normal and charge attack damage 20%. That's better than the physical damage uh, cards they kept giving us last time. These guys also do not rest with their attacks. It's crazy. Well, I needed almost two minutes for the first half, so I really hope this the Hu Tao team is going to be really, really good here.
Wow, wow. They did it. They did it in like a minute or less. I'm so surprised. Hu Tao is a beast, my god. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that for every chamber here, you need to do it in three minutes. Unlike every other chamber that came before this one, floor 12's included, you had five minutes for the first two. Uh, I don't think I, I think I need a little over half time there. Oh no. Oh no. Why do I never take this stuff into consideration? <laughs> I mean, they're still doing pretty good, honestly. For our main DPS being, uh, Pyro. Uh, I think we can do it actually. Oh no, but I have no ults now. <sighs> Should have used that extra time to try and farm a bit of ult. Yeah, I think we'll be able to do this in under half time, but I think the other ones are a little bit harder. So we did that in 110. And yeah, here we have no ult except Vinti, which isn't going to be that useful, I guess. Oh my god, I think we can do it. Holy hell. I was completely quiet throughout the entire thing because I was using 103% of my brain, which admittedly is not very much, but she is crazy. I mean, I, I, I had no tactic there. Just spam everything, you know, <laughs> as fast as possible. I didn't even try to get the Ruin Graders down. I just let them pile on top of me and get hurt by the AoEs. And uh, that, uh, I guess there was enough DPS. She is, she is really crazy. I tried this so many times and I could never get that third star. Even on like some really, really good runs, I was like 30 seconds off. Let's go ahead and claim our rewards. We can also see what artifacts we got this time. Uh, I've got to open these as well. Oh, I can release my Shao Lanterns. Wait a sec. Look at them go. Now they have to go fight floor 11-2 as well. <laughs> that was actually quite perfect also. Gladiator's Destiny. We'll check those in a second. Ooh, gladiator pieces. I like. Wow, this first one. Attack, crit rate, HP, energy recharge. Not bad. Starts with four subs. Got a couple helmets as well. HP and HP. All right, got to have some duds in there, I suppose. I think there was one other. Yeah, this, this flower of life. It's pretty meh. But yeah, I also really, really like that team for her. So we're going to uh, switch to that uh, setup. Zhongli is just really crazy these days. Ah, uh, just a bunch of fire dudes. Okay. Let's try the next daily quest then. Ah, uh, just one of those Geo Vishap dudes. Well, okay, whatever. Uh, let's go and hurry up and try and switch to her. Yeah, I didn't even see. But her basic attacks are doing crazy amounts of damage anyway. And her charge, I think. It's really hard to see her charge because it like goes out of frame. I mean, he was dead fast. That's something. Oh, was that not even the daily quest? Okay. Ah, uh, okay, here we go. Well, unfortunately, this wasn't a very good daily quest either because it was either a bunch of pyro dudes or a bunch of dudes with shields that I have to get rid of first. And by the time I get rid of them, they're already dead, so. All right, here are some normal-ish looking opponents, I suppose. Uh, we're just going to do the basic stuff. 
And boom. Solid little 48k there. Not too shabby for not having any sort of reactions. Like I said, with Bennett there, it's kind of hard to have any reactions. There was a reaction. <laughs> really makes me kind of reconsider having uh, Bennett. But then that was a reaction with Bennett's buff. It's just really hard to pull off because he's constantly applying pyro to everyone in that ring. I mean, maybe if we take it slow, we can figure out how that works. So like having Chi Chi in our team or whatever for some melts. We're going to start with placing Bennett's Q on the ground, going to Chi Chi and see that melted. And that's just going to keep melting because it applies pyro constantly. Now he might have... Was that a melt? If it was, it was not a critical. Of course, without Bennett's buff, it's a lot easier to do reactions. I'll think about the whole reaction thing a little bit more, a little bit later. I'll also have to think about going back on the weapon banner, trying to get her, her Homa. I don't say this lightly, but I think Hu Tao is my new favorite character. I just really, really like her play style a lot. Her self boost with her E, her fast Q, her strong Q, her strong basics, her fast strong basics. There's just nothing not to like about her. I wish I had a proper pull arm for her. And that's not to say deathmatch is really that bad or anything, but I just feel like she really deserves the best. But yeah, I suppose that'll pretty much do it. There might be one more follow up when I like totally max out her skills and or another weapon and or another build etc etc but yeah make sure to tell me everything in the comments down below leaving a like on this video if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well thanks as always for watching and until next time